Uh, I just received a request for help uh, with a drag disease claim. Uh, the uh, uh, the policyholder was uh, is insured under a drag disease policy, and he was recently diagnosed uh, to have uh, cancer, a very rare cancer of the ureter, uh, and the doctor uh, recommended uh, surgery. Uh, removing the ureter and the kidney and uh, he filed a claim under the drug disease policy and uh, it was uh, rejected as uh, not uh, fitting the criteria uh, for payment of a claim. Uh, now he asked me uh, to help uh, for uh, to help uh, this rejection. Now I asked him to send me the uh, details of the policy cover and the details of the medical condition and also uh, the details of the rejection letter. Uh, but I just want to make a few uh, general remarks about uh, drug disease coverage. Uh, yes, it does cover uh, 30 or more drug diseases including a very common cancer. But the normal uh, drug disease policy cover cancer at the end stage, uh, not at the first or second stage, but usually at the end stage. So if you are diagnosed uh, at the early stage and you take uh, action to address it, uh, it is not claimable. Uh, of course, uh, some people felt uh, very upset about this uh, kind of cover. Uh, they do want uh, to uh, act uh, uh, early. Uh, and then uh, they, they actually uh, uh, have a claim rejected. Now, uh, there is a, a coverage which is called uh, early stage cancer, uh, which will cover cancer at the early stages. But the premium for this uh, insurance cover uh, could be several times higher than the, uh, the, uh, the, the normal uh, end stage uh, uh, coverage uh, several times higher. So I want you to know that there is such a difference. Uh, do not uh, believe that uh, because you bought a uh, drug disease policy, it will cover all kinds of cancer. Uh, and uh, do be aware that <coughs> if you insure <coughs> early stage cancer, uh, you have to pay a very high premium for a very small coverage. Now, I also want to share with you some data uh, that is available in my website. I analyzed the insurance company's returns submitted to the Monetary Authority of Singapore. And I look at the data specifically for drug disease coverage. I look at the data for the past five years. And I found to my surprise that uh, the claim rate that means the claim compared with the premium uh, was only 20%. Now that means uh, you are paying uh, a very high premium and getting only 20% back in coverage. Now normally uh, the claim ratio for most insurance policies should be uh, in the order of 60 to 70%. So it means that uh, for the drug disease coverage, uh, the insurance companies are charging a very high rate uh, and uh, uh, they are paying very little in claims. Now I do know of many people who to pay a premium of let's say uh, uh, $3,000 a year uh, uh, for a drug disease coverage uh, but then the, uh, the claim rate is only 20%. That means a large part of that uh, premium uh, goes towards the insurance companies, expenses, marketing, and profit. Uh, now, uh, I also saw another uh, statistics that uh, one uh, insurance company that does a big volume of this business uh, for which uh, many people are insuring with this company make a profit of $300 million in, six, in five years, $60 million a year. So it means that uh, many people are paying very high rates of premium for drug disease coverage, getting very little back in, uh, in claims. 
having uh, many claims such as the example I've given, rejected, uh, and then that's contributing to the uh, profit, uh, a huge profit of the insurance company. So I do advise consumers, uh, perhaps uh, if you look at uh, the insurance company and they have very low uh, claim payout rate, uh, it's best to avoid that company. Now, dread disease is something that uh, we are afraid of, but it is not the only uh, risk that we face. For example, there are more people, I think, uh, who are injured or who died in road traffic accident. Uh, and yet, not many people are buying the insurance to cover that. And that insurance will cost very much less and than what they pay for drug disease coverage. So as a consumer, be wise. Uh, uh, make your choices carefully. You do have limited money and don't put too much of that money in a policy that covers you uh, with uh, 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 that gives you a very poor coverage.